am raising Mr. Snake's favorite popsicle oh, in your yeah. honor. So prepared, I love it. What are you doing? We're gonna pretend to go good. The bad guys become the good guys so we can stay the bad guys. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's fantastic! Wolf, you're a genius! <laughs> this film is such a fun family film and in honor of our favorite safe cracking snake, right? I have to know for you guys what cracked the code, I'm so sorry, for you guys when you read this script? I loved that it was based on a series of books. I always just think that's a really nice touch. But I love the cast. Like, the cast for me blew me away. I was like, this cast, is an yeah. incredible group of people to be alongside. And just the story is one that I really think is important. This questioning this idea of who are the bad guys or who do we call the bad guys. I thought it was a really important message. The fact that they really wanted me to do it. That, uh, <laughs> yeah, it wasn't like this general audition process. They were like, we want that thing that you do. You know, at, you know when you're cranky at your worst crankiness, you know, we want, we think this fits this guy. So it made me look at myself differently and it made me realize that maybe my crankiness is kind of endearing occasionally. Embrace and, uh, the cranky. Yeah, embrace the cranky. This is fantastic. You know, you had me at hello, you know? So uh, I, I was uh, looking forward to diving in and uh, seeing what I could lend to the shark character. Let's try something simpler. I'm going to give you a push pop. Just for me! No, to share. This is gonna taste extra sweet. Nope! Sucker! Is it? I ah, teach you to share! <gasps> totally worth it! Our beloved shark, right, can transform into anything in this film. If you guys could transform into anything, what would it be? <laughs> That's a great question. I would be a McDonald's ice cream machine. So you could serve the people. My cat is living a very chill life. Not fair. Sometimes I look at her, I'm like, damn. Like, That's how you live. You don't gotta pay rent. Yeah. You don't gotta do nothing. Mm -hmm. She's just chilling, licking her paw. <laughs> I'd be down. A bird. A bird? A bird. To, to fly out of this interview. <laughs> exactly, probably. <laughs> I'm quite comfortable, man, you're great. <laughs> OK, cool. <laughs> I think I'd like to transform into maybe something that lived a few hundred years, maybe a tree of some kind or a tortoise, perhaps a, a parrot. Wow, transform. I would like to be invisible and then just kind of hang yeah. out and hmm. see what people are saying behind my back. Come on, Snake, open up. Relax, these doors are complicated. Snake! Are you kidding me? We're supposed to save them, not eat them? Well, I'd say they've gone to a better place. What was your guys' reaction when you saw the illustration of your characters for the first time? Because they are so, they're so cool to watch. Like, did that inform your, your process at all? Yeah, I didn't know how they were going to make a snake move. It seemed like a limited possibility. But they were all very confident at the beginning. Because I remember when they showed me the, the, the drawing of Snake. And I was like, what are you going to do with that guy? Animation-wise, how do you make a snake walk and stuff? But it was kind of genius. His his outfit and the way he looked informed how I uh, played him a bit. There are major like Ocean's Eleven, Tarantino vibes happening in this film. How did you bring them both together? Oh, that's a great question. And I kind of I think that balance works really well because the kids respond to it really well and the adults also find something so interesting to watch into this film, you know? And so I think that balance of sophistication and silliness is kind of works really well in it. I, I'm missing the sophistication part, but we're, we're trying today, we're trying. <laughs> <laughs> Lily, in this film, you play an investigative journalist, right? So I need the exclusive. Which co-star of yours do you think recorded this entire movie in their pajamas? Uh, me. The person is me. I know that for a fact. But if it wasn't me, I'm gonna say probably Aquafina. You villains have an image problem. You need a makeover. So criminal. Well, there goes our street cred. You know, it is a cartoon with animals, right? But there, there's so many great human elements about this story, like redemption, and it's never too late to do the right thing. So I, I wonder for you guys, if you can talk to me a little bit about the tingle of goodness in this film and, and how you think audiences are gonna respond. For me, like the yeah, happiness and joy, very awkward. So <laughs> so it was nice to, to feel it happening in character and it kind of uh, made me uh, want it a little more in my own life. It does make you 
realize that you that is a good feeling inside when you do something nice for someone and your your tail wags uh, so to speak so yeah maybe it'll get people out there to uh, inspire them to get their tails wagging more it does feel good to 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 give and my favorite part of like a gift giving ceremony if it's Christmas or whatever whatever you're celebrating where that exchange is happening is the giving and seeing somebody's joy, um, you know, because you knew them or, you know. It is a real thing and I think can motivate kindness uh, toward others. Yeah, I always say that I feel like the best part of human design is that we feel good when we do something good for others. So there really is no reason to not do good for others because we're built in a way where it actually makes you feel good chemically in your mind. And so I love that this is discussed through the animation of like the tail wag and the tingle because it's, it definitely applies to humans as well. And if more people thought that way, more good things would be happening. Goodness indeed, you guys are the best. I am raising Mr. Snake's favorite popsicle oh, in your yeah. honor. Oh, in no. your honor. Yeah. Thank you, man. Give it to him. <laughs> well, you see that? Boom. Yeah. There's, there's the arc. There you go. There's the circle. You're giving back. <laughs> He's so prepared. I love it.